Once again, hi there, Tyrant here, and I just got done watching Good Lars, the, the episode of Steven Universe, and it was it was actually really good. Um, learning. Um, okay, so there's a lot happening here. It's a uh, so you learn that Lars is a baker, like really good baker. You know, it's one of the you know it's just those little hidden tricks people have, and he's kind of embarrassed about it. Um, then, uh, Buck comes into the, the donut shop inviting everyone to a potluck, kind of like what adults do, kind of what we, well, I don't actually do those, I still do traditional hangout video game shit with my friends here and there, uh, huh, potluck, that wouldn't actually sound so bad, actually, okay, anyways, so, um, so it's, um, so they're invited to this uh, cool potluck with everyone, you know, and you know the way Lars is, he's been trying to hang out with the cool kids for a while now, uh, and they finally has it in heat, so Buck invites all three of them, uh, Lars, Sadie, and Steven, and so at this point, you know, Lars does his thing and kind of embarrasses him, so you know, doing those little quips, you know, it's really hard. I, I fully understand Lars' character to a point when you're trying to be cool, um, I was never that cringy, like saying, being all that fidgety and stuff, and just making shit up like bingo bongo. I will start saying that though, uh, just for that. But it's um, it's I I understand that that feeling uh, to an extent. So, but was was interesting for this episode was more how Lars opened up to Steven a little bit more and learning that one he is he is embarrassed of his hobby or his skill of baking um, and I understand that as well due to well um, even though it's been more mainstream these days to play video games to um, play board games to watch uh, basically anime, cartoons, and all that stuff, I, you still have that stigma of feeling ostracized for it, in, in a, to a sense. Um, and then what was really good is that, you know, he loves baking, but you get, you get that, that him kind of almost saying that he loves Sadie, and that was like really amazing. Uh, and it's good that Steven's there for him. Um, to then them all just going to the park like at that point, and you know them all just hanging out. And you know it's one of those things where it gets a little awkward with you're the uh, odd man out, but then you know you just start hanging out and everyone. Um, so Steven then, but Lars never shows up. So Steven goes hunting for him, and you know just does goes around town asking people, seeing if they seen him, to find out that. He just didn't show up and threw his cake. Actually, I wanted to try that. I want to look what Ube is and see it because I'm not a huge fan of sweet potatoes. I enjoy it for the most part, so I'm gonna see how it does taste as a pastry. That would be interesting. Um, but no, it was um, you know, it was it was good to learn a little bit more about Lars and how he is. You learn a little bit more Sadie. A uh, little bit, not too much, but she did get to enjoy spending time with the cool kids, and you know, you know, she understands them for the most part. Uh, you know why? You know, they're just really fun people to hang out with. Um, but now she's a little bit kind of upset with herself because she hasn't tried to help Lars, but. Now she's starting to kind of feel like her mother, and she states that, and it's really funny because you're even though she she almost she didn't mention that they're dating. It's I don't know if they have or not. I should start paying attention a bit more, but you know, um, just a little. It gets to you a little bit, um, but the once again when everything happens at the end, you see these two figures. And when, when, when are we going to find out? So, once again, I'm a little behind, so I have one more episode to watch, so I'm happy. So, oh, I'm hoping next episode we get to see what these two figures are. So, 
Um, until next time, thanks for watching.